What are you doing? I have to go. I have to leave you. Wait, I have to leave you. That's my suitcase. It is? You're gonna leave me with my suitcase? Joel, tomorrow is Yom Kippur. I'm, I'm not happy. Nobody happy. It's Yom Kippur. I don't know how to do this. I'm not good at things like this. Things like what? Like leaving me? Yes. So don't. Practice a little. Try again when you feel more confident about your moves. Bitch. Joel, the rabbi is coming. Yeah, I know, yes. Five years we've been trying to get the rabbi. And this year we got him. We got the rabbi. I should go. Oh, no, please. I don't understand. I thought my life was going to be something different. I thought I was going to be something different, but tonight was just so terrible. I mean, a whole room full of people just watching me bomb. That was just one stupid night. And I'm, I'm there dying and I'm thinking about last week. We're in the temple and the rabbi tells that stupid Sodom and Gomorrah joke. And suddenly the whole synagogue goes nuts. So? He got more laughs in five minutes than I did in five months. <laughs> you are jealous of the rabbi? He was in Buchenwald, just throw him a bone. Do you ever think you were supposed to be something and suddenly you realized you're not? Yeah. Married. That's good. You're good. Joel, please. I'm never going to be a professional comedian, Mitch. Never. No, of course not. What do you mean, of course not? What do you mean, what do I mean? What did you think all those nights in the club were? I thought they were fun. I thought they were our fun couple things, like others do, like Margaret Smith play golf, mayors ballroom dance, or how Levens pretend they are from Warsaw once a week to get 10% off in that Polish restaurant when they do kolbasa night. I can't believe this. I never knew you were serious about it. Of course I was serious, Miriam. What the hell ever made you think I wasn't serious? Well, for starters, you are doing someone else's act. I told you everybody does that when they start. If you want to be comedian, you should have at least a written joke. I tried with the Ted thing. I wrote Ted thing. And it bombed. Because you killed it. Oh, forget it. Joel, come on, you have a job. Yeah, the comedy was a dream. Do you know what a dream is? A dream is what keeps you going in a job you hate. Since when do you hate your job? Do you know what I do, Midge? Yes, you're a vice president of the no, corporation. No, no, no. Do you know what I do every day, day in, day out? What the actual physical machinations of my job are? No. Neither do I. I make phone calls, I take meetings, I shuffle paper around, and I have no idea what the hell I actually do. Maybe if you did, you'd like it more. I just thought with the brisket and the notebook, I thought you understood. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. But Joel, you, you can't just leave. I love you. We have home, we have children. They are gonna notice. I have to go. No, please wait. I will be better. I will do better. I will pay more attention. You can quit your job if you want. And we can go to club every single night. And I'll buy more notebooks. I've been having an affair. It's been going on for months. I, I thought it was a phase, but now... Who? Pain. Your secretary. You are leaving me for the girl who cannot figure out how to sharpen pencils. It's not about her, and it was a new sharpener. It was electric. All that she has to do was push. Don't you understand? I, I need to start over. It's her. She wins. It's not a contest. I just don't want this life, this whole Upper West Side, Classic Six, Best Seats in Temple. Wife, two kids. I just don't want it. So you'll tell your parents for me? 
must be the finest thing you will ever send.